what are the basics of working up a lung cancer? When I see a patient uh, in, in my clinic, usually they haven't had anything done yet. They've been referred to me with a, quote, spot or a lesion or a mass on their lungs. And again, the first thing I need to do is take a good history and physical. How long have you had your symptoms? Have you had weight loss? Do you have bone pain? Have you had headaches? Um, what are some of the things going on? Uh, what diagnostic workup have you had? So sometimes they'll already have had a biopsy. My job, though, is to do these three steps absolutely uh, simultaneously and, and, and sometimes uh, in order. What is it, where is it, what I, what I can do about it? Diagnosis, stage, and treatment. The first visit is almost always trying to review the imaging and decide whether you need more imaging. Do a good physical exam, do a good smoking history, find out what other uh, uh, health issues the person may have, like heart disease, that can give us a challenge in terms of how we're gonna treat the cancer. So that's the first part. Sometimes I'm, I have to say that some patients are, uh, it's thought they might have a lung cancer. In fact, it's something else. It could be a fungal uh, infection or something else going on in the lung. So usually what happens over sort of the course of the next 10 working days is either some more imaging or a biopsy um, and then perhaps a PET scan to help us with the staging portion of this. So sometimes we get a PET scan that'll help us both direct this, a biopsy, but also help us with the stage. And so over the next 10 days or so, we'll try to get those tests done. In addition, we always present our new cases at a multidisciplinary tumor board. What's that? A multidisciplinary tumor board is where all the different specialties get together to look over uh, the imaging, the biopsy results, the pathologic results, and come up with a better treatment plan. So who's in the room during the tumor board? A pulmonologist usually, a chest surgeon or a thoracic surgeon, a medical oncologist, a radiation therapist, a pathologist. Sometimes you'll have a dedicated chest radiologist who help review the films. And then also people from other ancillary services that are extremely helpful, like clinical trials uh, staff, like um, palliative uh, care nursing. Uh, so we, we have all those people in the room at the same time. And they're either reviewing brand new cases or difficult and challenging cases that are coming back to the tumor board for consideration. So that kind of happens in that first 10 days. And for us, uh, we, we know how uh, anxious patients can get during that time period, that they just want to get something started. Um, but I would, what I would urge anyone listening to this to, to consider is if you don't get it right, if you don't give the person the correct stage and the correct treatment options, you won't get the best care. So yes, speed is important, um, but you got to get it right. What is it, the diagnosis, where is it, the appropriate stage, and then what are your treatment options, which really differ depending on stage. So for stage one, it's usually surgery. For stage two, surgery followed by chemotherapy. For stage three, chemotherapy and radiation. And for stage four, chemotherapy alone or some of the targeted agents. So if you don't get that right, you're gonna get the wrong treatment. So be patient with that, and, and if your doctors need to biopsy in a different area, um, as long as they're explaining it appropriately to you, 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 should, you should try to uh, stay with that program. So that's the general workup of a patient. I will say every patient gives a little bit of a nuance, and so sometimes a patient seemingly needs something that's a bit unusual in terms of a biopsy or a location of a biopsy or how to best go about getting that biopsy. And I can also say that sometimes the tumor board is split so sometimes it's, there's no right answer about whether we should do it the a needle biopsy through the chest wall or a bronchoscopy. And sometimes talking that through with a patient, they can help us, you can help us as patients make a decision about which way we would go next. And so that's the general uh, uh, workup of uh, lung cancer.